first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so this video is completely for the students for those who can't able to clear the mains exam i have seen many students will learn all the topics they will be very much strong on quantitative aptitude english everything but they can't able to clear the mains exam so those kinds of you are like under that category so in this video i'm going to explain you that where you can able to find all those tough level questions for your practicing right because keep, students will keep on asking me that give me some tough level question papers for the mains so i will tell you like which books i am following which books i am learning to uh, make students to clear the mains exam and then i i can explain you like uh, what are all the things you need to give more importance to clear the mains exam right so first let me talk about the cut off and everything right you know what will be the mains exam cut off it's depend upon the exams for example if it is an ibbs po ibbs clerk it will be around some cut off but if it is an sbi po the cut off will be low but the question paper will be very high the standard of uh, question paper will be very high so what you guys need to do is first decide uh, what exams you have applied for example if you are going for ibbs clerk mains that the where the mains exam session will be quantitative aptitude and reasoning but if you go for a sbi po then the the session will be like data interpretation where you can able to see all the 50 questions will be da so if you go for ibbs clerk mains you can able to see it's it's a collection of all the quantitative aptitude question you can able to see miscellaneous question or five equations or da so based upon the exams so start practicing for the mains so first uh Remember one thing, there are 28 topics in quantitative aptitude. According to me, there are many topics like trigonometry, algebra, those are the stuff which is not required for the bank exams. According to me, there are 28 topics in quantitative aptitude for the bank exams. Try to learn all the 28 topics. You guys need to know all the 28 topics, basic to medium level question. You need to know how to solve easy to medium level question in all these 28 topics. And you need to know all the important formulas. Why? Because if it is a session mains exam, if it is a data interpretation, uh, they can ask DA from time and work or they can ask DA from probability. So any sort of DA can be asked in your mains exam. Definitely, if you are going for the mains exam, the mains exam level will be hard. No doubt about it. It won't be easy to medium level. Prelims exam only easy to medium level. If you go for the mains, definitely the question paper will be hard. So in this hard level, try to pick up some of the easy questions. They will be, if there is five DA, for example, I'm saying one data interpretation which contains five questions. You can't able to solve all the five questions, right? Out of this five question, there is a chance of solving two to three questions. So that is enough. Try to pick that only easy to medium level questions here, right? So even though the question paper is art, where you know, right? You, if you have learned all the 28 topics, inside this every day, you can able to solve two to three questions. So pick that right question to solve that comes in practice. And second, importantly, many students will say like, where can I get all these questions, tough level questions to solve the uh, mains exam? Because even I purchased many practice set, they, I can't able to see uh, that much standard question, that much practice, odd level practice question for the mains. So where can I get those odd level questions for the mains exam practicing? So I would recommend some of the books. I can show you the books. And again, I can tell you one thing, it is not a paid promotion. So uh, it is not at all a marketing thing, nothing here. My friends, what they follow to clear the prelims exam, because I have seen many of my friends who sit and uh, prepare in my office for the mains exam, because I have a lot of books here, right? Being in that camera, you can able to see many bookshelves are here and the students, my friends used to come here and they prepare for the mains exam by taking all those books. So I'm just going to show you all those books. It's not at all a marketing thing. Again, just a minute, I can get all the books. So these are the four books, right? I always recommend for the mains exam, for the mains exam, for data interpretation and quantitative aptitude, right? So first is Arun Sharma's book. It was for the CAT exam, right? A CAT exam uh, books. 
always if you are preparing for the bank mains exam so uh, try to follow some cat level question papers book so because recent times where the bank exam mains questions are very hard which is equal to cat exam so if you prepare this cat exam question paper also you will get an idea right so here you can able to see this arun sharma sir it's a fourth edition i'm having i think it's a old edition i don't know whether fifth edition has been released so here you can able to see some a uh, difficult level data interpretation for the cat exams right and uh, secondly i have another thing called career launcher mba cat exam so here you can able to see 30 years right so previous year cat exam question papers will be there in this book so where you can able to refer right uh, the quantitative aptitude and miscellaneous things everything so these two books where you can able to get that standard level question uh, that much sorry that much i level question for the mains exam right and secondly i don't know whether you have heard about these exams snap right so snap is one of the exam and uh, xavier aptitude uh, test x80 right so uh, it is like i don't know whether these exams are nowadays uh, they are calling for it but i have these books for referring the quantitative aptitude questions because this is that a xavier aptitude test you can able to see some quantitative here also in this exam also you have quantitative aptitude the reasoning english etc but the quantitative aptitude will be little bit difficult so if you refer all the previous year question papers you will get an idea right so these are the four books that i always uh, ask my friends to follow because where you can able to get all those i level question uh, quantitative aptitude question right so i think that's it right so try to follow all these stuff and then uh, don't give only importance to quantitative aptitude for the mains exam so if there are four sessions give equal importance to all the four sessions current affairs are more important for the mains exam even though it was only two question or five question there is only three to four question don't worry about that try to crack that four mark right that is important so uh, don't keep on again don't keep on practicing aptitude for the mains give equal importance to all the areas right so if you purchase already students if you are purchased my uh, website uh, test series so try to practice the current affairs daily so we are giving a daily practice set for the current affairs alone because uh, only five days before the mains exam don't touch that current affairs you can't able to learn that so start your preparation from today for the mains exam that is for the current affairs so once you practice regularly then at the time of mains exam it will be easy to revise all the current affairs got it so that's it about this video so current affairs will boost up your total score and uh, not aptitude even though you prepare everything you can't able to score that much mark in aptitude but if you have a proper preparation other than aptitude you can able to score more you can even get a reasoning if you i have shown some of the books right that uh, career launcher mba cat exam book there you can able to see english question papers also reasoning also so you will uh, get to know how the how to solve all the tough level question in english as well as reasoning got it so that's it about this video right so thank you so much for watching this video so i have a proper plan and i have a proper strategy and uh, i have some of the uh, practice books right I have cat exam practice books and uh, instead of practicing bank exams previous year bank exam question papers so try to practice some of the previous year cat level question papers for the uh, upcoming bank exam mains so that's it about this video so thank you so much for watching this video and if you have friends also are struggling to clear this mains exam try to share this video to them so that they too can able to get to know that uh, these are the books that will helpful for the bank exams so thank you so much for watching this video bye